and a first grader, and I have a preschool. I have three children of color in this school. I, part of the reason why I've never been to a meeting is because I am married to a school board member and I have never wanted to put my, I just never wanted to come forward. I no longer have faith that I can keep silent. Um, I, I see both ends. I see how this situation and my own particular situation is affecting my family. I see um, the, the calls, the emails, whatever that we get affect my home life. I don't have faith in the Pelham School. We moved here seven years ago because of the reputation of this school. This school needs to have, this is not about whatever situations are going on. This is a personal, selfish comment that I'm making. And I feel that if we use lovely terms like um, unconscious bias and microaggression, yet when people that look like me speak up for their children, we're seen as aggressive. We're seen as a threat. I no longer know what to do except to pull my children out of this school. And I ask the community to think twice about attacking particular school board members when they have children in this district. This is painful as a mother, as a wife, and as a member of the Pelham community. I serve on the Pelham Historical Commission because I love this town and I can't stay here anymore. I don't know what to do. And this is not just about one person. This is about several children of color feeling isolated, marginalized, bullied, my child does not like to wear her hair curly anymore because of the bullying that happens within the building. I needed to make this comment and I needed to be public because I no longer can hide on Gulf Road and act like I, just by talking that it's going gonna, it's gonna to solve it. I've been dealing with this for five years. Kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade. I have been dealing with this. I am extremely at my wit's end, and I don't know what else to do but to come here and to make a public statement, and that's it.